hey guys welcome back so we are jumping straight into the video i am doing a setup it, it was actually last minute um the client ended up booking that monday and it was for a friday setup for a sweet 16 um but nothing too big something small honestly i didn't even know where i was going to be setting up at until i um, arrived on site and this is was the best the best option to be honest you guys it was another area but it was no light in there it was very dark and dull um because this was in like a restaurant um pub kind of thing i guess that's what you call it so um i was doing the h method on that left here i started adding on some clusters um, and I pretty much inflated everything at home already. And I think I had one cluster left. I, I did not use, well, no, I ended up having to inflate some, um, like quads and I think a cluster of six or something like that, but not a lot of balloons I ended up having to do. And I also did this in probably about 45 minutes or something like that. Um, so I ended up doing the H method on the left side that I just stopped and it, it, it came off and I ended up attaching it. You can't see it right here, but it was a speaker that's above this and it was um, a, a metal piece that was sticking out so i ended up moving um using a 260 and attaching it there instead and then my h method on the wall ended up coming off as well with it i attached that gold um cluster in the middle with the big balloon that h method came off and then i just ended up using one piece of duct tape um just so i don't have to do it you see like that left part just fell down and then because my h method fell off and then i seen the metal piece i was like oh perfect i can attach a 260 on there and i don't have to do no h method so i love when there's things i can use where i don't have to use any kind of tape that way um i know it's secure and it's not going to fall off but um because i knew i was doing freestanding for the most part and i didn't know what i'll be um using as what i'll be attaching the balloons to i did bring my floor lamp i have it i had an extra one in the house um so i just brought that with me um of course i took some of the poles off because i didn't want it to be straight up i just used it for the bottom part um so i'm just going in looking around you guys and see um how i wanted to finish this off and yeah i didn't attach the garland mainly because i didn't want to do i just didn't want to i wanted to you know treat it i treat balloons more so as art these days uh, which i love because there's so much you can do with them i feel like we still haven't scratched the surface or maybe just a little but it's so much you can do with balloons so i've been just trying to do it different it don't have to always be attached you can break it up um and you can pretty much do whatever you want i feel like this still shape wise there's still certain things you should do to get like uh an appealing um shape but for the most part, you can do pretty much anything you want to do. So here I am attaching balloons at the top. And I noticed that uh, my top part was a little bit too big. Um, and it was standing up too straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off that gold. And I twist a pole off. So I end up leaving only two poles on this lamp. It was three altogether, but I took one off. Um, and that was only because I didn't like how it was making the garland too straight up. So in order to avoid that, I took a pole off. That way I can make my own kind of shape to it at the top part. I can move it over a little bit how I actually want it. So that's why I took the extra pole off. So that pole limp only had two all together. And of course, I end up adding some, make, some more rig points on the floor. Um, but you guys know i don't add those until the very end once i know how i want the garland to look or the shape it needs to be so that's when i add the ray points at the end so now i'm just going in adding clusters where i think they should be added um here i took a dupe out of that one so that is a cluster of six um i took a dupe out of it um because it was another it was a a 16 inch or 17 18 one of those the larger balloons was inside the dupe and i didn't want another large balloon i already had those two at the bottom it was pretty bulky so i used that that i just took out that dupe and i twisted in it up there which i'm glad i did because i only had like one 16 inch up there or 18 inch um and it was nice to add another one and that's how that look and i'm just twisting the balloons around to make sure they are nice and tight together um, if you find that your balloons look kind of gappy, it could be that they just not twisted together. 
um, or twist it around in the right shape or is it not the right shape but like it's not twisted i don't know how to explain it um because balloons have a way of like going into each other so if they not laying on top of each other right it could be that you just need to twist the balloons around so yeah i hope that makes sense <laughs> um so you guys so here i took out that dupe so it was a cluster of six and i took a dupe out and now it was a quad of four balloons. It was just a little bit too bulky. So I took that out. And honestly, the client wanted the um, pink, white, and gold. And the colors will be listed in the description box, you guys. Um, the client wanted pink, white, gold. But honestly, I feel like white always take away. Like, I really like white and garlands. Like, I feel like the white always takes away of the other colors. I would, would have been fine with just the pink and gold. But again, this was last minute. So I pretty much used what I had in stock already. So she wanted, she wanted the white. I didn't mind. I just didn't use a lot of it. Um, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but before we finish the bottom part, I'm going to start adding on my 5 inches, you guys. The 5 inches are nothing but a um, quad of 4 balloons. Um, the balloons, the five inch balloons are pretty much sized to about three or three and a half inches. Um, if you're using your hand pump, I, I try to put the neck all the way down on the pump and then I literally pump one pump of air inside. And you see guys here, right here is where I added that one piece of tape because the H method came off. Um, so yeah, I use just one pump of air if you're using a hand pump. And if you're using a Legenda, I use the... Um, I put it on 0 0.2 and then I hold it for three for three pumps a year. And that's what I do on the agenda. But um, I like my five inch balloon this size. I feel like it details the cluster and the garland and rather than making them like the actual five inches where they, I feel like they're super large and it doesn't really detail it. It just kind of blend in with the actual cluster. So that's why I like to do on this size. And here I'm just adding on a cluster of six balloons right in front. And then I added, I want to say it was a quad next to it. You guys know I like to end my garlands off with a quad. But I've been doing like quad cluster quad. Because if you do two quads next to each other, it kind of creates a space, um, a gap in between there. And then you guys see that where those two big balloons, the pink ones are at the bottom. To me, it was not, I don't like my um, large balloon sitting on the floor like that and that was annoying me a little bit so i'm going to put a quad in the front you guys gonna see how it makes the big difference um because i don't like to end any kind of garland with a 16 inch but i also didn't want to take it out so i end up adding a quad and i feel like it definitely made the world a difference i add my rig points on the floor as well i just use one piece of duct tape in a 260 and i um, wrap that around two of the quads that way it doesn't move on the floor and I'm adding something to the back you can't see, but it was a quad of gold balloons. Um, just to flare out. And I, honestly, I wasn't even planning on doing the gold going all the way down, but I just kept having to put gold because I didn't want to do white. <laughs> and it just looked nice. <laughs> um, here I'm adding that quad of four balloons in the front that I mentioned that I didn't really um, like those two big balloons by yourself. And you guys want to see how much of a difference it made once I add that on. So you guys see, it kind of gave the garland a new end. Now I couldn't really do anything to the balloon next to it, but it really, really closed it out in my opinion. And it looks totally, you know, better. <laughs> it looks better. So I put a rake point underneath there too. And I'm gonna just start adding my five inches on. Cause this is pretty much the end you guys. The client was super happy, Um, you know creating small space creating a garland to me i like i feel like the large setups are easy the smaller setups are hard even though i love smaller setups because they challenging and trying to get a different shape um each time and they're definitely um it's definitely not easy working in smaller spaces and trying to get something unique out of it so but this is the final look you guys this is how everything turned out 
well, how how do you guys work in smaller spaces please leave a comment below i would love to see what kind of tips you guys have on how you work with smaller spaces and how you're working right now when trying to create something different with shape so i would love to hear you guys feedback please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye